we've been hearing good things about you. What kind of spring you having? Um, I, I think I've been having a pretty good spring. I'm, I'm definitely progressing. Um, work, work, working hard. You know, trying to learn from Coach Powell, uh, learn from Coach Whipple. Uh, we got a great staff. Uh, we got great guys around me. Um, competitive. It's a competitive running back room. Uh, we try to make each other better every day. But you know, I, I think overall, you know, I've been getting better every day, and I think that's the really the ultimate goal. Spring ball. How different has it been without you know Quadri and Darren here? And like now, you're like first in line for all the reps and stuff like that. Um, it's definitely really different. Just, just their presence. You know, they brought a lot to the game. They brought a lot to the room. Um, their leadership. Um, so it, it was big for me, AJ, to have to step up, you know, kind of take control of the room, you know, be, be the next two guys to really um, have, have the leadership role. Um, and Valik has done a good job, too, stepping up. And, you know, we're just trying to replace, you know, what, what, what they brought and, and bring our own little style to it as well. So, What do you think this backfield has to prove? I mean, you've got the, the oldest guy in the room is, mm -hmm. hasn't played a ton his first two years. I think you had one carry a season ago, and then Valik is, like, Quarterback turned receiver turned <laughs> tailback. I mean, what what do you guys plan to prove in in 2019? Uh, we plan to prove that we can run the ball. Uh, you know, Coach Whipple he, he came here and he established, hey, we're gonna we're gonna throw it all over the field, and we've established all street ball that we can that we can throw it. But I think the big question everyone wants to know is, will we be able to run the ball next year? So we're, we're, we're trying to answer that question, and we taking that to heart. Coach Powell's taking that to heart too. You know, he said Darren and Q they they set the standard for us, and we're, we're, we're shooting for the stars. So we're just trying to establish that, that we can run the ball, we can still dominate the. Can you show that in the spring game when offensive lines are kind of split up and, and you maybe don't have the true units out there? Um, it's a little bit difficult, but I still think you know you, you'll still be able to make plays even with the offensive line being split up. Um, you know, you still got you've got a great uh, bunch of guys up front, so you know it, it'll still be able to, to show a little bit. We've uh, talked with uh, Kenny, uh, you know, with Kenny and the Whiteouts over the past few weeks about what changes come with the new offensive coordinator. I mean, how much does Coach Whipple being here change what you guys as, as running backs do if it changes anything at all? Um, it definitely changes a lot. You know, Coach Whipple is utilizing us all over the field. You know, we're lined up at wideout. We're lined up in the slot. You know, he has us do, doing things that we weren't you, we weren't uh, normally doing last year. So Coach Whipple's kind of, you know, he's blown up in the playbook. You know, we add plays every day. He's really trying to get everyone involved and his key thing is, is score touchdowns and getting the playmakers the ball so that, that's what Whipple does. Todd, Whipple likes to throw deep. How, how have you seen that help and open up the running running game for you guys? Um, it definitely because it spreads the defense out you know they can't pack the box they can't fill in eight nine guys because they have to worry about our defense. So we got a great core receiver we got some vets out there we got some young guys that really stepped up and so you know what having that having those deep threats you know, it really opens up the run game. It makes it makes blocking a lot easier, and you know, it just makes the offense overall better. Were teams packing the box against you last year? Um, I think so, definitely. They were so worried about Darren and Quadri gashing them, and, and you, we had George back there, so I think they were they were heavily concerned with our run game. So they weren't really, uh, I wouldn't say they were, weren't weren't concerned for our pass game, but they weren't as concerned as they were for our run game. Coach Whipple said that the three of you guys back there have some different things that you're all good at. What do you feel like are the things that you kind of excel at that, that you've been able to differentiate yourself with? Um, just, just my power, my, my pad level, and, and my pass. Bro. I think those are really the things that, you know, I excel at. You know, just, just running low, running hard, you know, trying to get the extra yard, and just my pass protection, keeping guys off Kenny, keeping guys off George, and, you know, making sure the quarterback has time to set up and get rid of the ball. I was asking some of the other guys this. Uh, the number one pick in tomorrow's spring draft will be who? Oh man, it'll definitely be Kenny Pickett. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else for time? Fan of the new uh, logo there on your collar? Definitely. I think this is the best in the bar. You know, this logo right here. <laughs> with, your, with your power, do you think you might be the guy they, they put in on the goal line? And, you know push the power a little bit? I think so, yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, all, I'm hoping for it. You know, I'm working hard at it. You know, AJ, he has the ability to, to put his head down and get that extra yard, too. And even Valik, you know, he, he's undersized, but he can definitely fit in and, and get that extra yard. So I think we're all, you know, able to, to go in. But, you know, who, whoever number is called, you know, we're going to go and we're going to get that extra yard. So.